Hi everyone, today we are going to do some carnivore meal prep. We're going to show you an easy way to meal prep a large quantity of ground beef and I'm making Dr. Lisa's seafood salad. I'm Anita, welcome back to my channel where I show you how I've lost 145 pounds following an animal-based ketogenic diet. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to show you a really cool way to meal prep a large quantity of hamburger. I know that a lot of you use ground beef a lot. It's a very economical cut for these times. And so I have these two large chubs and the total weight of this is about five and a half pounds. I'm going to cook it all at once in the instant pot. Uh, so let's, let's just get started. So I have about one cup of water in here. You can put broth in. If you're planning to keep the liquid at the end, you can you know, do, do that however you like it. I've also put in my little lifter to lift the meat out afterwards. This just couldn't be easier. I'm just going to cut these in half, cut them at the top as well to release the air. Then I just place it right in. I have a six liter instant pot here. If you have a bigger instant pot or even in a pot that's this size that I have, you could fit up to about 10 pounds of ground beef in here. It's a good way to do a really large quantity. I don't use any seasonings at all. Uh, one reason is because the dogs, uh, Pippi and Teddy, they uh, this is part of their weekly meal prep. And the other is that if you don't add seasonings, then depending on what you're making, you can add whatever you want. So if you're, you know, you could use this in a meatloaf uh, or in a uh, spaghetti sauce or what, you know, whatever it is you plan on making later in the week. But it's all ready to go and it's nice and soft. Great way to just uh, cook something quickly. And the other thing I like about this is you don't have to stand at the stove and watch what you're doing. It's just, you know, you set it and forget it until the little thing is done. Okay, so make sure that your vent is on the seal position and I'm basically just going to cook it on the meat option for 20 minutes and that's it. We'll take it out later. I'll show you what I do at the end and uh, I'm gonna get ready for the next recipe. I'm just gonna swap my boards out. Okay, so before we start making Dr. Lisa's salad, I uh, want to thank the sponsor of today's video and that is Element. What is Element? It is a super tasty electrolyte drink that comes in uh, many different flavors, more than eight flavors now. It has a science-backed formula of a thousand milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium that help to keep your electrolytes in balance, prevent leg cramps, headaches, keto flu type symptoms that a lot of people are going to get at this time of year. And so I've been using it for a couple of years now and I absolutely love it. One of my favorite ways to use it is the fruit flavored ones are great in a hot tea at this time of year, just hot water and half a stick of Element. They do still have the limited edition chocolate medley available, uh, but that will be gone soon. These are great in coffee or again a hot drink mix. It's so nice at this time of year. If you are sensitive to the stevia leaf extract that is in the flavored ones, they do also have the raw unflavored. Right now, Element is offering to my viewers this eight flavor sample pack. It contains all eight of their regular flavors. It will be added to your cart automatically when you go to the link that is shown below. It will also be listed below in the video notes. The link is drink element.com slash ketogenic woman. That's a D-R-I-N-K L-M-N-T dot com forward slash ketogenic woman. Thank you Element for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so I've got the ingredients here that I put in my version of Dr. Lisa's seafood salad. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I saw her video right before Christmas. Uh, it is a fantastic video. I will link it below where she makes uh, this salad 
uh, and, and it's a way that she uses to disguise sardines because she's not a fan of sardines, but sardines have so many good omega-3s in them. Um, I, I just live on these practically. I don't need to disguise mine. I just like to eat them straight out of the can, but not everybody does. Now, there was a couple of things in her version of the salad that don't really agree with me, and so I've tweaked this for my liking and uh, just a little bit different technique as well. So in mine is going to be five eggs, a can of salmon, a can of sardines, a can of cod liver, uh, some pickles, a little bit of dill, and chicken breast. Basically, this couldn't be easier. Uh, I just dump everything in this bowl. It makes about five cups, and then I've been eating this one serving a day for ever since I saw the video, basically. I made it the same day I saw the video. Uh, so th that's all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open these cans, dump them in, and then mix them up. Now, Dr. Lisa, because she has an aversion to some of these things, she puts it in a blender and makes a paste out of it. Texture-wise, I can't do that. I like to see what I'm eating. I like it chunky. I, you know, like I said, I, it doesn't bother me what's, what's here. So I'm just gonna go and show you how I'm doing it. I also just dump in the juices because it helps keep it moist. Uh, except for the cod liver, I do drain some of the oil off that because there's an awful lot of oil in there. For those of you that are local to my area, I did find this brand at Fairway Market. Uh, otherwise, you basically have to order from Amazon. Uh, I have seen it at the Real Canadian Superstore as well. I do have the links below for all of these things in my Amazon shop. Oh, I better peel these eggs. Now, if you uh, can't do dill, then don't do dill. Uh, you don't have to do anything, or you could, you know, put in parsley, green onions, something like that. I just do it for a little bit of flavor. Uh, the dill does go really well with what's in this salad. And I do about a third of a cup pickles. Gives it a little bit of crunch. And again, completely optional. Just throw in whatever seafood you like, whatever protein you like. You don't have to add anything else. It's all entirely up to you. I do have the macros for the way I've made it. So I'll share those at the end once I'm done here. This also might taste good with a little bit of raw onion. I, I cannot, uh, I'm too sensitive to raw onion, so I won't even bother trying that. Let's toss that in. And last is, oh, I do use mayonnaise in here. Dr. Lisa used eight tablespoons of butter, but I found that four tablespoons of mayonnaise was more than enough to uh, make this a, a salad. And I use the Chosen Foods mayo because it's very clean. It's made with avocado oil. They also have a keto mayo made with MCT oil or even better, make your own. So I have about a pound of cooked chicken breast here. I just cooked this yesterday. You can use canned chicken breast like Dr. Lisa does. I, I just found this, this worked well for me. And I just make chunky pieces, you know, nothing too big. Like you want, you want it to, to just be edible. Like you want to be able to see the chicken in there possibly or, or not. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna dump this into a bigger bowl. I was sure I used this bowl last time, but obviously not because by the time I, once I start mixing it, it's gonna be everywhere. So I'm gonna have to wash two bowls. So that's okay. This is gonna be much better. So I'm gonna break up my can of salmon down here and my sardines a bit and some of this other stuff. Now you can do uh, the, do it the way Dr. Lisa does it and put it in a blender. I kind of like it this way. It's more like a chunky salad. And I'm gonna add my mayo now. So basically think of this as like a chicken salad or an egg salad with some hidden omega-3s inside. Uh, because you, you know, you can't really taste them and you're getting a good hit of daily omega-3s. 
She says that she keeps this in her fridge and then whenever she's hungry, she just scoops out how much she wants and that's her meal. Um, so what I find that uh, the whole recipe makes five cups if you make it this way. And I did make it her way the first day and it also made five cups. I find about a cup is, uh, is good for me uh, as a meal. And I'll give you the macros for that in a moment. Now, Dr. Lisa also adds, uh, I think a quarter cup or something of bacon bits inside hers. I, I don't do that, but uh, what I would suggest, and I'll show you what I do instead, if you do have bacon bits, you could sprinkle them on the top, uh, and, and then that way they're still a little bit crunchy when you eat the salad, because I, I do like that little bit of crunch that something like a bacon bit would add, but I'm going to show you what I add in just one moment when I finish mixing this up and put it on my lunch plate, because I do have this scheduled for my lunch today. Okay, I think that is good. So let me let me show you what you can do. So I'm, I'm going to uh, take out my lunch portion, basically, which is a cup. And then the rest I just put away in the fridge. Save it for tomorrow, the next day, the next day. I just plunk it out like that. And... I add a little bit of my favorite salt, which is the Redmond's Real Salt. And for the little crunch factor on top, I'm adding these uh, brisket crumbs from Carnivore Crisp. This is where you could add the bacon bits instead, or some shredded cheese or something if you like, you know, something, something different on top. Uh, I'm not doing cheese right now, but I find that just a few of these just adds a nice little extra flavor and crunch. And I'll actually do a video soon about how to make your own of these, but I do have a link for this below. And this is my lunch. I'm going to tell you the macros for this. So uh, if you're going to make it Dr. Lisa's way or you're going to tweak it up a bit for yourself, you'd obviously have to recalculate this. But if you make it exactly how I've made it here, one cup is 423 calories, 41 grams of protein, 32 and a half grams of fat, 2.8 total carbs. The carbs come from the eggs, the cod livers, and the pickles. And uh, the ratio is 63% protein, 35% fat, and 2% carbs. So uh, in the next segment, we are going to unpack our, our uh, meal prepped ground beef, and I'll show you what to do with that. Okay, so the meat uh, should be cooked now. It is uh, on natural release. Uh, it's been 16 minutes, so I'm going to release the, the vent here. And we have our four mounds of meat, uh, which was about five and a half pounds. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. That's a little warm. I'm just going to pull it out and put it on some paper towel here. All right, I'm gonna just lift this out onto there. I do have a lot of liquid here. So some people save the liquid uh, because uh, like what I would do if you wanna save the liquid is put it in a couple of jars, put it in the fridge, and it'll separate the liquid and the fat. So you can either use the fat for frying, uh, some, pe some people like to use the beef tallow, um, the liquid underneath will be very jello-like, it's great for in a beef soup or something, or a casserole. Uh, or uh, some people, uh, they put it in the fridge and let it harden and then they toss it if they want. Uh, what you don't want to do is pour it in your sink. Like, it's going to clog up your drains. Trust me on this. <laughs> so, uh, I actually, I'm going to let that cool before I pour it into the jar. And I'm going to grab those. Break, break it down a bit so that it fits. Now it's okay that it's a little pink inside because uh, as I mush this up, 
this will finish cooking basically. And in the recipes that I will use this in, there will be further cooking. You can just use a fork if you don't have one of these guys. Now I have the dogs waiting because uh, this is often what they will have for lunch. And uh, they know what's up here. So I'm, I'm just actually going to put, uh, I'm going to leave this at that. And this one I'm going to put in a freezer bag and, and freeze it. Because this, this will, with, between me and the dogs, this will get used up <laughs> within three or four days. So, um, uh, but that one I'm, I'm going to freeze. If you wanted to freeze all of it, like, you know, this is, this is also a really good meal prep um, because you can freeze all of it, vacuum seal it in one pound uh, bags and flatten them and put them in your freezer. And, uh, you know, you've got, uh, you've got ground beef for future recipes. I made this much because I knew it was all going to get used up this, this week. So let's put that aside. I wonder if I can do this without spilling. Almost. Oops, that one I did spill. Okay, so uh, here's, here's what we did today. I've got my four pounds in here, plus another pound over there that I'm going to freeze. I've got my saved liquid and my Dr. Lisa's uh, seafood salad. So I hope you give all these things a try. Let me know what you think of doing all that ground beef in the Instant Pot, uh, whether that is helpful or not. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Did you call action? Should I be speaking? <laughs> I sh oh, is this, this, I'm gonna, we're gonna need a couple of takes. <laughs> I wonder if I can do this without spilling. Well, <laughs>